Well, well, thanks so much. On today's Food is Medicine, did you know that there is a compound in ginger that is 10,000 times, 10,000 times more potent than chemo for cancer? Krista Rakio, clinical nutritionist and founder of thewholejourney.com, and Dr. Rajesh Grover. Did I get that? I'm good? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he is assistant professor of cell and molecular biology at Scripps Research Institute, and you guys are both here to explain a little bit more. This is fascinating to me, and the first portion that I want to talk about when it comes to ginger is the, we're, we're not talking about the ginger that we're juicing. We're not talking about fresh ginger. We're talking about dried ginger. Today we're talking about food as medicine for dried ginger and how it has more compounds to be beneficial to mm -hmm. kill cancer, okay. which is so powerful because, you know, Abby, when I work with clients and they're doing an anti-cancer diet or recovering, right. we use a lot of spices, turmeric and black pepper yes. or antioxidants from broccoli sprouts. Mm -hmm. But I brought my friend, Dr. Raj, on because this is brand new research and it's brilliant to prevent cancer reoccurrence. This is so fascinating. So the big thing I want to talk about, you're talking about this compound. So what is the compound called and why is it so different when we're talking about dry ginger versus this fresh ginger that you and I know at the grocery store? So let's take a step, step <clears throat> backward. Uh -huh. So cancer is not just bad luck. Okay. So a recent uh, landmark study published in this issue of uh, Nature uh, showed that the external factors contribute tremendously to cancer growth and proliferation. Okay. And as Krista pointed out, that one third th is diet only. So wow, wait, that's huge. We should stop. So one third of, of cancer in this new research has found that it's all just based on diet. So that, doesn't that show you how much power you we have? have. I mean, don't take medicine. that in a bad way. Take that mm -hmm. in a good way. Oh. Look how much we can do for ourselves. Right. So major problem with cancer is cancer comes back. Mm -hmm. The reason it comes back because cancer actually is made up of two kinds of cells. One is the fast growing cells, the cancer cells mm -hmm. as we know. Another 0.2 to 1% of them are called cancer stem cells. Mm -hmm. And these are cells are the mother of those fast growing cells. So okay. if you kill those fast growing cells, if you don't take care of these cells, meaning cancer stem cells, cancers will come back. Right, you didn't kill the root. You gotta kill exactly. the root of the yes. whole thing. And you told me that it's something like 50% more potent, this dry ginger mm -hmm. compound, yes. than the fresh ginger. What is that compound? It's like in Japanese, what's the compound yes, called? Yes, so it's uh, shago. So uh, nine, uh, six shagol is the name of the compound, which is actually found only in dry ginger. Mm. It's uh, present in the fresh ginger, but not as much as you would like. So if you cook it or you make it dry, it becomes six shagol. Six shagol is very similar to actually piperine, which is in black pepper, and curcumin. Oh, so they're very interesting and similar <coughs> compounds. Here's the big question, how do you use it? In this research on clinical studies in, in actual human patients that were cancer patients, how did they use this compound? Uh, so this study was a research study done on breast cancer where they showed that this compound, six shagol, is 10,000 times more potent than the uh, standard drug called Taxol in killing breast cancer stem cells. That's the, that's the root cause? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and how did they give it to them? So you can give it to orally, like okay. in your diet, food as medicine. Yeah, so I wanted to, just to show the power of this, I brought mm -hmm. a bottle of ginger. Okay. So the, what they, the, in the study, you can go up to, you can go from 100 milligrams all the way up to two grams a day. So if you were to do two grams a day, right. this would last you 25 days. You're just using one teaspoon of dried ginger a day. A day. Abby, this is $4. This is as inexpensive as it gets for cancer prevention, and you can heat it up and make a ginger tea out right. of it. Right, there's so you many different put, ways. Yeah. That's incredible. Heat up the oil. Like, that's really important. Don't put it on your food afterwards, mm -hmm. but heat up when you're heating up the oil oil when you're cooking, put the ginger in, you release the nutritive properties, and you get the food as medicine. That's incredible. Thank you both so much. Of course, we could talk for hours about this. So for more information, obviously there's a lot to research here. If you are someone that would like to be able to incorporate this into your diet, go to fox5sandiego.com and click on the Scene On tab. We'll be right back. You. You're watching the Fox 5 Morning News.